and tricks we driven to explore talents from students in podcast industry do listen our audio visual blacks in kannada english and hindi do subscribe and press the bell button for regular updates now today we discuss about the human brain the human brain is the center organ of the human nervous system the human brain is comprised of 1011 nervous cells let me listen by shreyas r what about other important aspects of human brain hello everybody myself shreyas r i'm studying in 9th standard in government adarsha vidyalaya sadhankeri dharwad today we shall discuss the topic the human brain first of all we should know what is brain a brain is the mass of nerve tissues which are present in the anterior end of an organism the anterior end means the top end of an organism for example in our body the head is the anterior end in which the brain is present it integrates sensory informations and directs motor responses so let me give you an example you are breathing every second right so to breathe the brain gives some signals to your respiratory organs in order to breathe if there were no brain you could not be able to breathe at all now let us say you are walking to walk the brain gives some of the signals to your legs in order to make it move this is known as the motor responses so in some of the higher vertebrates it is the center of learning so us humans are one of the higher vertebrates the vertebrates means the animals having a backbone and a skeleton of course we have a backbone and also a skeleton so we go to school every day in every session we learn something new so the thing we learn where it is stored in the brain right yes so it is known as the center of learning the human brain consists of billions of neuron cells it has billions of neural cells here neurons means the nerve cells and the brain which consists these weights about approximately 1.4 kilograms or 3 pounds pretty heavy right so moving on the junctions between neurons are known as synapses which enables electrical and chemical messages to be transmitted from one neuron to the other so there are some junctions between one neuron and another neuron which are the nerve cells so the things called synapses which are the junctions enables electrical and chemical messages to be transmitted through them from one neuron to the another neuron by this only the brain transmits signals to the whole body this process underlies basic sensory functions and that is critical to learning memory thought formation and other cognitive activities so for example what they are trying to tell is the sensory functions which means we feel see something we memorize it right so to memorize this the basic sensory functions are necessary so these basic functions are followed by the brain so the brain is necessary to memorize something and to learn something new so sometimes we think about something let's say you are playing chess you have to make a move in order to defeat your opponent first of all you think what should i move so that he could not move back right so this is called thought formation and that is also done by the brain and many other cognitive activities are controlled by brain so how many parts are there in this human brain let us see the human brain has three distinct regions which are the hind brain the mid brain and the fore brain so first let us see about the hind brain the hind brain is composed of medulla oblongata and the pons the medulla oblongata transmits signals between the spinal cord and higher parts of the cell which are 
the forebrain and the midbrain. It also controls autonomic functions such as heartbeat and respiration. So as the example I gave earlier, this obloganta gives some signals so that the respiratory organs work and we can be able to breathe. Heartbeat is also controlled by medulla obloganta. The pons are partly made up of tracts connecting the spinal cord with higher brain levels. So the another part which are called the pons are made up of tracts which means a large bundle of nerve fibers which connects the spinal cord with the higher brain levels as I told earlier. It contains group of cells that transfer information from the cerebrum to the cerebellum. Cerebrum is the uppermost part of the central nervous system whereas cerebellum is a separate structure attached to the bottom of the brain. Now let us look into the midbrain. The midbrain is a part of central nervous system located at the topmost part of the brain stem. So, in the brain stem, the midbrain is located at the topmost part. It plays a part in serving as a connecting link between the hindbrain and the forebrain. Therefore, it is known as the midbrain. So, as it is named as the midbrain, it plays as a connecting link between the hindbrain and the forebrain. So this is all about midbrain. Now let us look into the forebrain. The forebrain includes cerebral hemisphere. So in the cerebral hemisphere, there are something called thalamus and hypothalamus. So thalamus is the main center between the medulla and the cerebrum. Hypothalamus is very important as it controls for pleasure, pain, hunger, thirst, blood pressure, body temperature and other bicellular functions. So when we are hungry or when we feel pain or we are happy, these all are controlled by the hypothalamus. They produce or secrete some of the hormones which causes these actions or bicellular functions. Now let us see some of the facts about our brain. An average adult's human brain has up to 2.5 million gigabytes of storage capacity. About 60% of the human brain is made up of fats. As fatty acids are very necessary for the function of brain, about 60% of human brain is made up of fat and is the fattiest organ in the body. Human brain isn't fully formed until the age of 25. The human brain can generate about 23 watts of electric power, which is enough to light an electric bulb. The human brain has about 100 billion neurons. Can you imagine it? The neurons are so fast that they send information to our brain at more than 150 miles per hour, which is about 241 kilometers per hour. So fast, right? And our brain is always working, even when we are sleeping. For example, we have some dreams, right? How are these dreams formed? Of course, due to the presence of the brain. The brain actually cannot feel any pain at all, but it interprets pain signals so that it is feeling pain. It feels as though it is feeling pain, but the brain actually cannot feel any pain. The human brain gets smaller in size as we get older. It usually happens around middle age at some about 30, 40 or 50. And our brain uses about 20% of the oxygen and blood in our body. As brain is the most important part of our body, it uses up about 20% of oxygen and blood. The human brain will triple its size in the first year of its life. So, when a baby is born, in the next year of its birth, the human brain will be triple of its original size when it was born. Have you ever wondered how headaches are formed? Headaches are actually caused by some of the chemical reactions which occurs in the brain. So these were some of the facts about brain. In today, we discuss the topic, the human brain. 
थैंक यू फॉर मोर अपडेट्स डू विजिट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट टैलेंट्रिक्स डॉट को डॉट इन